boy or girl chromosomes will prompt. From the point of view of the evolution of sex chromosomes, snakes are boring creatures. They formed a ZW system for themselves and have been crawling on it for centuries. Their not so distant relatives, lizards, approach the issue of sex determination more creatively. Researchers at the Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology of the Siberian branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences are studying how sex is formed. By the way, some lizards do without a male sex at all, they switch to the so called parthenogenetic reproduction, it is also called virgin. Males in the population either do not exist or do not have their contribution to the sexual process. At the same time, large groups of Amazons are able to capture and master very vast territories. Sex determination, in different species it can be chromosomes X, Y, Z, W, is a biological process during which the sexual characteristics of the body develop. This raises interesting biological questions about why we need a so-called double price for the male sex. The concept of double payment for males implies that, from a biological point of view, sexual reproduction is half as efficient as asexual reproduction. In the first case, the offspring of females half consists of males who cannot reproduce on their own. In the second, the population includes only females, each of whom is able to give cubs. If, for example, successful Penang scaly geckos, like a number of other species, do without it, says Vladimir Trifonov, head of the Laboratory of Comparative Genomics of the IMCBSB RAS, candidate of biological sciences. In the Carolina Anolis, which became the object of study by Siberian geneticists, everything is traditional in relation to sex. One day, this lizard, small, changing its color to fit the mood and possessing sharp claws, woke up famous its genome was sequenced and compared with the genomes of birds and mammals. We also worked with this species and once upon a time sorted the chromosomes, got libraries of DNA of individual chromosomes and all tried to understand where the sex chromosomes were, comments Vladimir Trifonov. The fact is that the latter in lizards change quite quickly. For example, in geckos, the sex chromosome system is similar to that of birds, ZZ, ZW, where ZZ are homozygous organisms, carriers of two identical genes that determine the trait females, and ZW are heterozygous males. Authors note. In iguana-like lizards, the 20th, Xi system is similar to those of placental mammals and humans. Obviously, in different groups of lizards, completely different chromosomes take over the function of sex and begin to determine the sex and decide whether the offspring will be male or female. After a seminal article in Nature on sequencing the genome of the Carolina Anolis, it became known that it has a sex determination system, Xi but it was not clear which chromosomes are responsible for the mechanism. The only thing we understood these are microchromosomes, because the large ones were the same in both males and females, says Vladimir Trifonov. Microchromosomes are small chromosomes that are significantly inferior in size to macrochromosomes. It should be noted that mammals do not have such a concept as microchromosomes at all. All the carriers of genetic information in us and our fellow students are quite large and clearly distinguishable under a microscope. However, most likely, vertebrate ancestors had a genome consisting of macro and micro chromosomes, very small elements. This type is preserved in most birds, turtles, many species of lizards, as well as in various taxa of fish, including sharks. Micro chromosomes are very difficult to study to describe, to calculate, to order, explains Vladimir Trifonov. Previously, you could see in a microscope only a certain point among 50 of the same. Now bioinformatics and sequencing of a new generation have come to our rescue, and we are able to understand the gene composition a set of all genes that have their own functions prescribed. Like most chromosomes in general, microchromosomes are responsible for many things, they contain household genes, luxury genes, etc. Household genes are those stretches of DNA that work in all cells and tissues. Luxury genes are those responsible for the specialization of cells. In other words, there is a set that allows the cell to survive, and there is a set that determines what it does for the body. To solve the mystery of the sex microchromosomes of Carolina anolis, researchers of the IMCBSB RAS studied another type of anolis in which the sex chromosomes for some reason became large and clearly distinguishable, gray anolis. We examined the structure of both the X and Y chromosomes of these two objects and compared them, says Vladimir Trifonov. It was found that both chromosomes are homologous, similar to NS, in both species, and, 
as it was later shown, in other species of Anolis they are very similar. However, another result was unexpected. It turned out that in the course of the evolution of the gray Anolis, something incredible happened, some microchromosomes suddenly began to merge with sexual ones. The fact is that something rarely happens to the sex chromosomes at all, reproduction strategies change, centuries and epochs pass by, sexual revolutions thunder, but our carriers of genetic information about who should be born a boy or a girl, are conservative and unshakable. If we compare humans and chimpanzees, then the X chromosome in them does not look completely different, all the rearrangements occur with autosomes, paired chromosomes that are not sexual and are the same in both males and females, and S. And this is with most mammals, whom we will not look at, says Vladimir Trifonov. In the case of gray anolis, we see a completely different strategy, for some reason, the X and Y chromosomes become participants in chromosomal rearrangements, and we still cannot explain this phenomenon. It's a very unusual evolutionary fate. So, the gray anolis demonstrates its microchromosomes attach to the same small sex and form one large clutch group. Pieces of the newly transferred fragments are stored on the X chromosome, and on the Y they begin to degenerate, and now the male sex will not have two gene variants to choose which one is better, but only one, as, in fact, it happens in mammals. We published an article on the study in the journal Chromosoma, and then we plan to expand the range of lizards, now we have new species of anolis in our work, the analysis of the sequenced material is underway, says Vladimir Trifonov. Especially interesting is the degeneration of genes on the Y chromosome. Now, according to the evolutionary trajectory, they should degenerate over time and turn into a small chromosome rich in repeated elements. That is, there will be those genes that will be responsible for determining sex, and everything else can be safely thrown away. This will not affect viability. However, as stated in another article by researchers of the IMCBSB RAS, Something strange happens to the sex chromosomes and in some other species, these are primarily rodents. Their stable system, which has developed over many millions of years, begins to collapse the SRY gene, it determines the male sex, even if an individual has a Y chromosome, but this gene is inactivated, the body will begin to develop according to the female type, does not work. However, there are both females and males in the population which means that some other genes have arisen that have come to the rescue and taken on the necessary functions. Thus, the mechanisms for determining sex are diverse and amazing. In some cases, they evolve some stop working, and this function is taken over by others. Which ones, just find out biologists.